It's, uh, hello everybody, it's uh, very nice to be here. Thanks uh, for inviting me uh, to the organization committee. Um, so I'm going to talk about Sarantaporo.gr. It's a community network of a um, kind of different nature than the one that you saw before, the Yermas Image, although we use the same technologies. So it's about uh, our village, uh, Sarantaporo, which is in uh, central Greece. So we are talking about an area with um, many villages inside the mountains, geographically isolated, uh, where uh, in back in 2010, when we started, there were no telecommunication companies offering services there because it wasn't profitable for them. So people didn't have a choice uh, on how to connect to internet. Uh, so a group of people stemming from the Sarantaporo village decided to build their first um, community network. Um, so the reason for, uh, 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 for doing all that we do is that um, we want our villages to be lively. We, we don't want them to be abandoned by young people. So we are trying to bring, um, to create opportunities of a better life. And um, our mission towards that vision is to um, bridge the digital divide. Um, so uh, how do we do that? We build the infrastructure. Um, we do some training for the locals so that they know how to maintain and build the infrastructure themselves, but also um, educating them on digital literacy. And we do community building. Um, so our infrastructure is actually currently covers 11 villages, 24 farms and one camp. Uh, we have almost 40 backbone nodes and um, uh, 150 public access points. Uh, the access points provide internet connectivity for uh, openly for inhabitants and visitors alike. And we have uh, more than 50 local members who are actively engaged in our, proje our projects. So this is how it looks like. It's a different setting than the one we saw before with the buildings. It's kind of a rural setting. And uh, these are uh, our community members uh, doing roof rooftop work and setting up those antennas. Um, and you can see Mount Olympus back in the, in the background over there. This is where the ancient Greek gods used to live. Uh, no, they didn't live, um, uh, but they were there. <laughs> Okay, and this is Achilleas uh, in a workshop explaining to our community members uh, the topology of the network. So as you can see in the photo here, it's all very mountains and uh, uh, isolated area. And this is uh, how we do our um, troubleshooting of the network, how we um, uh, indicate where we should put um, a router so that the signal um, can be uh, better and some other tools uh, that help us with uh, line of sight visibility. So where, where we have the green color, there is line of sight. Where we have the red color, there are some uh, obstacles and we have to break it. So um, the main challenge in training the locals is uh, the distance. So we don't live in these villages, we live in Athens. And uh, these villages are like 500 kilometers away. So this is kind of challenging for us to go there. So what we try to do is do train the trainers workshops. So we train some local people who then uh, go on and train their peers uh, in the villages. Um, this training empowers people to uh, build and maintain the infrastructure themselves, but also um, we do some basic uh, internet usage uh, training. So how we get online and um, how uh, to use some services, etc. This is how a training session looks like. So we are in a community building here, and uh, uh, all these good people here are there to, to learn about community networks. Um, you can see here that mostly old people uh, or elders participate, and this is kind of strange, actually, if you think that is a very techy thing, but uh, for these people it's not. These are people who are, um, yeah, kind of the left, uh, they're left behind in the villages, so they're pensioners, and uh, they would like to have their family visiting from the, from the city. But in order for the family to visit, they have to have internet connectivity, because otherwise they will not, they will not come. So this is, a <laughs> this is a motivation for them to, to go and learn. And um, if you see only men in this room, this is not true. There are also women who, who do the stuff. And uh, these two good ladies here, 
they were the first to, to learn how to, they were the first to fix their cable because, um, yeah, they said that it is like knitting, so it's, uh, it was very easy for them to do so. So we also do some uh, community building events, like um, having daily interactions via our Telegram channel, uh, doing troubleshooting and also idea sharing about how to expand our network and improve it, but also community events that take place in the villages and all the people come together and um, share and uh, their experiences like this. So you see some colorful to toys over the tables here, which is a t way that we try to visualize how the um, connections and the community network of the community network as, uh, uh, are being uh, made. So la last summer we also did an um, install in some other villages in Greece. So this, this, uh, this is from an installation in Kalenzi village, which is in Epirus, like um, 300 kilometers from where we are. And uh, we were there for three days with people from uh, uh, the local, uh, local people from the community, from the villages, uh, showing them how to build the network, building the first uh, nodes and supporting them afterwards. Um, we have um, observed an awesome impact until now, uh, so I will just go through it very fast. Um, the visiting doctors in the villages didn't used to be able to prescribe medicine because they, they didn't have access to online platform, and now they can do that through our uh, network. Um, we are uh, giving access to local professionals like in agriculture and animal farming so that they can use their, um, um, so that they can use the internet to do their business as everywhere uh, in the planet. Um, and um, yeah, we do some local streaming, streaming of local festivities and also uh, people can access public services uh, as, uh, as they should uh, be doing. Um, yeah, next steps, we would like to uh, build some digital content, local digital content in the area, so that we can um, um, start using the infrastructure as a tool. And um, we, ha we want to enhance our digital literacy uh, courses and wor uh, workshops um, uh, for local people. Thank you. So we have time for maybe one question. Thank you. Thank you much for a very interesting, I think it's a very noble, noble cause. Um, I like very much the point that you mentioned that um, the elders want their families to visit them and they won't visit except if they have Wi-Fi at home. Yeah. which is unfortunately very true. <laughs> um, I want to, you talked about collaboration. Um, how do you go about, about this? How do you propagate your, your experience and the lessons that you have learned in Greece and outside Greece? Um, yeah, so, uh, sorry. Collaboration is in um, various levels. So we have um, uh, the collaboration that's going on b between uh, uh, the local community members. So we are talking about an archipelago of villages in the area. There are 11 villages and people start collaborating. The villages didn't use, the people in the villages didn't use to have relations to each other. But once we got there with a the network, we created a kind of meta uh, community which unites all these people together and that now we have a community uh, forming from all these uh, villages and then there is the collaboration with various actors in the region uh, the university that provides the back hole for us um, some uh, uh, non-profit organizations and open source communities we, we, which, with which we have worked together and then there's, uh, there's a international collaboration we are part of ISOC's Community Network Special Interest Group. So we get together once a year and uh, try to work throughout the year for common uh, issues and sharing experiences and uh, taking uh, our issues forward. Okay. Um, can you join me in uh, thanking Vasilis? <laughs>